My name is Matthew Wong from the Congregation of the Disciples of the Lord. It's, uh, it's also called the CDD. It's an order focused particularly on the evangelization of the Chinese people. Here is just a brief story about myself and my vocation. I was born and raised in China. I have a big family with four siblings, and all my families are Catholics. Since I was young, my parents handed down the faith to me. And I remember that every day, my mom would gather the whole family together to pray evening prayer and the rosary. And also on Sundays, we will go to the church together as a family. And also my mom required me and my siblings to pray every day. Even if we are too busy, she said, we should at least pray some short prayers before sleep. So ever since I left home for secondary school and high school studies, my prayer life had helped me to keep my faith. During those years, the studies was quite competitive and tiring. Every day after a long day's study, I would go back to my, to my room, and uh, when the light was off, I, I would s sit on my bed and, uh, say, and, and pray the rosary. But for so many times, because I was so tired, I, I just fell asleep while praying. But those unfinished prayers helped me to keep my faith. I had some uh, priest relatives in my extended family, but I never thought about becoming a priest. Like so many young people, I just wanted to enter a good university and uh, find a good job and get married. And that's my life plan. I was so close to my dream. I studied ele electronic engineering in university, and also I had a girl that I loved. But God had, had another plan for me, and He wanted me to be a missionary. It began about 11 or 12 years ago. Once I was praying in an, em in an empty church by myself on a Sunday, a strong desire came to me, came to my heart, a desire to evangelize the people, including all my friends. None of them knew God a desire to fill that empty church with people. After that experience, providentially, one CDD priest asked me, do I want to become a priest and join, the, join his order? Since then, priesthood came into my consideration. There was two ways in front of me. One way was to follow my or original life plan to pursue my, my dream. The other way was priesthood, which means I have to give up everything that I had pursued for so many years. And then, yeah, these two choices are both are very good. And so, I, but I have to choose one. It's so difficult to make those kind of choice. So I spent a very long time to pray for clarity. So many times I asked God, are you really calling me? But God didn't answer me directly. God did answer me by pulling my heart towards Him, towards that direction. So until one day in my prayer, I, I said, I told the Lord, well, Lord, yeah, I will say yes. You have won my heart. My heart belongs to you. Yet yeah, that was the result of a long time, a few years, prayer and discernment. And then in 2014, I joined CDD disorder. And in the year 2016, I professed my first vows. And in, uh, last year, in 2021, I professed my perpetual vows. When I looked back and reflect on my vacation story, I can see that it's really not I chose the Lord, but the Lord has chosen me. As the scripture says, He chose me to bear fruit, fruit that will last. Priestly vocation is really a, a free gift given by God. This gift is an invitation to participate in His great mission on earth in a special way, in a way that I give myself totally to the church and to the people. It's not only for the good of others, but also for the good of myself.
So I would say, at a certain point in our life, we, we may not be clear about God's plan for us, but we need just need to pray and be open. We will see in which direction God will lead us. And I'm look, looking forward to serve the church and to serve all of you.